They were undefeated. They had just came off of a loss, a 30-point loss to Oklahoma State. So you know they're fuming and they're ready to go. Their students are back. Uh, they had a great crowd. And so it was going into, uh, I said, the Red Raiders' nest. And, uh, and it proved to be that. Let's look now at the highlights of that game uh, from Lubbock, Texas, Missouri, and Texas Tech. First and only meeting of the regular season between these teams, obviously. Missouri from the north, Texas Tech from the south. And coach, here we go. What'd you think of the early play in this game? Well, they start coming out and they were in attack mode. You know, they know we're going to press. They had time to prepare for us. That was Lawrence Bowers catching the ball in the short corner. Uh, I'll tell you what, he really softened up their defense inside, knocking down some shots. Uh, Here's Kimmy on a swing pass. Uh, on the road, you've got to make shots, and, and we were able to do that. But uh, I'll tell you, I was impressed with Tech. They had a lot of fight, a lot of heart. They played with a great effort. Yeah, you know, hadn't seen them much this season. They have a Robertson back there guard as the most heralded player, but they've got some new additions around him, and they're going to win some games in Lubbock. There's no doubt in this league. Well, when you got Singletary and you got Robertson, those two guys, you know they can play. Here's a freshman, Mike Dixon, his first true road game <laughs> in conference play. He knocks down the shot. It was out here with the attack, and there we are doing what we do, attacking that glass. You love that, always, don't you? Always talk about the best time to shoot a three is when you get an offensive rebound, and there's Zaire Taylor on the swing pass to knock down a shot. Now you say best time to shoot a three off an offensive rebound because most people are collapsed around the boards, right? Everybody's in the paint, mm -hmm. and if you don't have a great shot, just kick it on back. Uh, here's JT Tiller uh, using his size against uh, the Robeson kid, and uh, he scores uh, in the paint. David Tyru answers for Texas Tech. It's a little back and forth. That's how it's going to be in this league. 40-39 at this point. Uh, the Red Raiders with a slight advantage. Well, uh, here's Kimmy English. We match in there. Anytime they make something, <laughs> it seems like we're matching on the other end. You bet. And there they go, Little Robeson with the tray ball. I mean, it's it was fast and furious. Marcus Dimmon uh, stepping back, and there's Bowers with a big, I thought, a big tip. Yeah, Lawrence really had a nice game for you, didn't he? He sure did. There's the freshman. He just shot an air ball and came back and, and shot that baseline shot. So that tells you and shows you his moxie. And, and to their credit, they kept attacking us, kept on attacking us. You bet. It was 55-49. Then Safford launches and hits a three. So you're up by nine and certainly thinking and hoping to pull away. But Tech was hanging around. So. Boy, here's a weird play. I mean, <laughs> they get that. He gets in there and throws in the pass. And we kind of make a bad decision there. And he gets it in a matter of six seconds. I think he scores six points. It's a two-point ball game. You bet. 79 apiece. Now as we go ahead later in the ball game, and they had scored uh, three three-pointers in the final minute, Mike, to race an eight-point deficit and send it to OT. And your guys really impressively came out strong in the extra period because they could have been deflated. Well, here's our defense creating an easy offense. I thought, you know, we came out and scored the first two plays in overtime, and, and here's Robeson hitting a big shot mm -hmm. with a guy in his face and cut it to one. Uh, uh, but, but again, our guys answer. There's Marcus Demon with a big shot. Uh, knock it down, and you can see our guys are in tune to one another. There's JT Tiller filing out. And so now on the floor we have three freshman sophomores, and sophomores, a yeah. freshman, <laughs> and a senior. They miss two free throws. Uh, we come down to the rebound. There's Mike Dixon knocking some free throws down. Yeah, as in four for four from Michael Dixon at the stripe there in overtime. And, you know, that's what's really impressive. Uh, as you look at some of the stats from the 94-89 win, you had your two senior leaders, really, that most people think about, uh, Zaire Taylor and JT Tiller. Over there with you, they had fouled out by the end of the game, but Dixon and Denman and English, Bowers, uh, uh, these guys all really stepped up and got it done on the road in a tight game. Well, that, that's the thing that's really encouraging. I, I think sometimes you can really learn a lot of the things about yourself. You know, those guys not being out there, and now you're looking at Marcus Demon, Kimmy English, Mike Dixon, Keith Ramsey, and Lawrence Bowers, and those guys actually went out and did the job. But it don't surprise me because, you know, through the course of the season, these guys have played. Mm -hmm. It's not like they've just been out there in mop-up time. I always say, that's why I play guys, because you never know what can take place over the course of a season, over the course of a game. We let you know about our Missouri Employers Mutual Player of the Week, and this week we recognize the sophomore from Kansas City, Marcus Denman, he really had a pair of big games, scoring 14 points in the final six minutes of the Tiger win over Kansas State. Then at Texas Tech, Denman scored a career-high 20 and grabbed six rebounds as well. MEM, the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance.